Tight end on third and seven. Gannon to the sideline with a completion again to Monk for the first down. He spun back away from the 40. Once can still take it away from defensive backs. He can't separate on the deep roots the way he once did that. Not as good, but he can still run pretty good. Short drop, quick slant. There he is again. Well, I tell you what, if they don't keep this guy on the field, he's outstanding. And I think, you know, again, it's a possession-type passing attack, Bob. Cannon chased out of the pocket, and before he could get away, he's dropped on an ankle tackle by Marvin Washington. Nightmare and a coach's nightmare, third and 18. Ernest Binder into their lineup, running a pattern out of the backfield. The completion to him, but well short of what they needed. Bill Piquel. Rob Moore in motion. They give it to Brad Baxter, and Baxter with decent first down yardage before Sterling Palmer stops him. Mathis. Baxter got six, setting up second down and four. And they give it to him again. Close to a first down. They need less than a yard. They ask Johnny Johnson to get it, and he does and then some. You know, I know Boomer wanted to come out throwing the ball, and I think what Bruce is doing here, he's trying to establish some field position, but this is what he would really like to do. No score. Redskins had it first, had the punt. Johnson again. And Johnson is into Redskin territory. Stopped at about the 46 after a 15-yard gain. Yet they kept it on the ground, their first four plays from scrimmage. And they stick with that. Brad Baxter off the right side. They're going to set up a play action somewhere right along here. And here it is. Esiason tucks it in and keeps it and gets out of bounds before taking much of a hit. Up with his just snap it. Third in the yard. And they have the first down with Baxter getting the call and Monty Coleman on the stop. Jets haven't put it in the air yet. The one time Esiason dropped the throw, he wound up tucking it in and carrying it. And this is the ninth straight time they've put it on the ground, and Johnny Johnson is put on the ground very quickly by Kurt Govea. Wilson's out hurt. Charles Mann has missed time. Contributing factors in a 3-9 and nine record. Got to beat the clock, and they do by a second on third and 11. Esiason's first pass is complete for the first down at the 25-yard line. Pushed back to the 35 on first and 20 now. Over the middle, and there's the completion to get back a considerable portion of what they lost on the penalty. Burkett made the catch. Alvoid Mays the stop and a gain of 15, so it'll be second and five. Five, and for only the 13th time this year, Esaias and his sack, Monty Coleman, back into the lineup after sitting out a few plays, after being shaken up, gets credit for the sack. Ray Blanchard will try and salvage three points out of it from Louis Aguiar's hold. A 45-yard attempt is good. Today. And he'll put it in the air for the sixth time. Rolling right as he does. He has the ability to run. He comes back the other way and can't escape. Spun down by Mo Lewis. You know, down to the Bears. A low snap on Roby's punt, but he's able to scoop it up and get it away. And a long spiral drives Clifford Hicks back, but Hicks has some running room and slips through some tacklers. Good field position for the Jets as he gets out to the 43, but Roby averted disaster by playing that on the short hop. Back, shaken up, expected to return shortly. They need five. Esiason has the ball knocked away. Loose football. It's kicked back toward the goal line. 
They still haven't picked it up, and finally, Cadigan is on it for the Jets. Now, there's a flag down near the line of scrimmage. I think it's a penalty, but I, I really didn't think... A forward pass oh. that hit number 53 in the back. The ball hit the ground, incomplete. Oh, no. See if the arm was moving oh. forward. That's a bad call there, but, uh, you know, and everybody's entitled to make a bad call, I guess, but uh, he called it the way he said in that Dick Hantack, and he called it a quick call. Get punt, so the officials called it correctly. Ricky Irvin's on the carry, and Jeff Lagerman collars him quickly. A loss of two, setting up second and 12. Gannon firing, and there's the completion to Tim McGee. They barely beat the play clock, and Brian Mitchell appears to have the first down. The yardstick was right at the 35, and it looks like he got across that. Three wide receivers, so running back on first down. And it's Ricky Irvin, who manages to break free. Looked like he was stopped at the line of scrimmage, and he turns in a great play, but then lost the ball. Let's see if the whistle blew prior to the fumble. The Jets think they have it. No signal yet. They do have the ball. We were screened from it, but it looked like it might have been phrased. All right, the Jets leading 3-0. They give it to Johnson. And Johnny Johnson with decent yardage on first down. Now, Bob, this has been their most successful play. It's a straight zone play where the where the back pick. You've got a blitz. Here he comes again around the right side. And a first down for the Jets. It's a lot like the Redskins. They really don't throw to their running back a whole lot. I mean, they throw a screen pass to him, a drop-off pass. They really don't use him as a receiver that much. Third and 11 from the 33. Esiason under pressure as he throws and incomplete. It's a great job by the Washington Redskins defense. They've got everybody covered, and they're putting very solid pressure on Esiason. Now he right. He was trying to pin the Redskins back near the goal line. Instead, they get it at the 20. Look out for the option play here. Mitchell pulls up and throws, and he's got Ricky Sanders wide open, trying to outrun Ronnie Lott. And Lott catches him, but he's all the way down to about the 23-yard line of the Jets. For years, they love to get a trick play on you. Now, usually they don't do it this deep in their own territory. They do it out more around midfield. But this is just a great play. This kid used to be a quarterback, and he can throw the football better than a lot of quarterbacks playing the game. He stepped out before he actually went down, so the ball is... Trying to get away. Takes one guy, showing that mobility, throwing on the run incomplete. Lomiller not having an especially good year. Tries one from 47. And misses wide to the left. He's 12 of 21 for the season. Only Scott Sisson of the Patriots has a lower percentage. That's, and Boomer will throw on first down. And he'll complete it to Rob Moore for a gain of about five. So it drop on the throw to the sideline to protect, and he's immediately cut down. Boomer's taken two big hits so far. He's taken a sack and another big hit. He hung there to the last second. It looked like he was going to be sacked, and he got the ball to Rob Moore for the first down. And then look how close it is to being knocked away. Todd Bowles almost got a hand on it. First and 10 from the 42. 5.29 to play in the half. Johnny Johnson with good first down yardage. Got about nine on the play into Redskin territory. The kind of situation that Siasen has been longing for. He's able to put it in the air on second and short yardage. And Rob Moore makes a nice move to evade the tackler and turn it into a big play. Bob, the only difference in that play than the other quick pass outside was that Boomer got the ball into his hands where he could catch it and make the move. The other play... They're measuring to see if they got... See what's happening, so it's hard for you to make a judgment. So it's second down again. And now they have 
the first down as Johnny Johnson comes bursting through another huge hole. What a great job the Jets' offensive line has done in this first half in terms of making their running game work. More in motion on third and ten. Boomer's pass caught by Rob Moore. At about the 25, and that'll give them the first down. On first down, Brad Baxter. And Baxter bangs down to about the 15-yard line. Boomer was telling us yesterday that he hoped to put the ball in the air more on first down. Three of the best teams in Lakin, two of the hottest teams in Lakin. This is a game they should win and need to win. Esiason, again under pressure, gets rid of it on the run, and Johnny Mitchell thinks he made the catch. The Redskins disagree. <laughs> and the Redskins are correct. 27-yard attempt by Blanchard out of Aguiar's hold. Wait a second. They didn't get it off in time. And they'll have to do it all over again. They had the ball for 15 plays. They kept it for seven minutes and four seconds. Delay. Offense. Five-yard penalty. Still fourth down. Reset the game clock at 21 seconds. Look at this. Aguiar didn't realize the snap was coming. And they get nothing out of it. Aguiar looking down. The ball snapped. Jim Lampley standing by for the Domino's Pizza NFL Live halftime report. Wilkins came on one play, the halfback option from Mitchell to Ricky Sanders. Essentially, the Jets have controlled the game. Look, they've made some very poor decisions in the special team area. The science in the throw on the first play from Sprinters in the second half and it's completed to Chris Burkett. And Burkett trying to lunge forward has the ball come out. Johnny Johnson might not have gotten it. They need literally inches. And that's about all they've got. But it should be enough for the first down with Baxter carrying. On drinking top water in the D.C. area. Just looked at it today, as a matter of fact. Last 48 hours or so, though. Well, five. Siasen, well protected, completes the pass to Rob Moore, who's had a big game, and Moore has first down yardage for the Jets. Moore has six receptions. And he jumps into carry, around left end, and sprinting down the sideline, huge game for the Jets. Well, he has been a big disappointment, because coming out of Penn State, the guy had great numbers. I thought he, there's a crossing rod again. There's Moore shedding a tackle, great run after the catch. Down inside the 15-yard line on his seventh catch of the day. Ball spotted just outside the 12. And Johnny Johnson takes it up the middle. And bangs down to nearly the five-yard line. Five or 15-play drive, rather, for the Jets. And they've had it since the outside of the third quarter. Johnson. Very close to what would be a first down. Into the end zone for the touchdown. No, he dropped the ball. Dropped it. Fred Baxter, the reserve tight end, had the ball. Unbelievable. Nothing to show for it. Zip. His hands. He drops the ball, bounced on the ground. Now watch the reaction of the head coaches. First, Bruce Coslett. He goes absolutely bananas, which he should. Now watch Richie Pettibone. He's ecstatic, which he should be. This is like golf. Every shot makes somebody happy, either you or your opponent. Aguiar, kick. Block. They got a piece of it, it appears. And the ball is down at the 45-yard line of the Redskins. This is absolutely as bad as I've seen a team play on the special teams this year. They've made critical mistakes returning the football, kicking the football, snapping the football. There's more mistakes made today than what you'd make in a normal season. And Sterling Palmer got there. You know, you can just, you say you changed the offense a little bit, but this is a three to five step drop. You should be able to get rid of the ball. 
He has time on this occasion. And he gets into a receiver. Flick to Desmond, Desmond Howard. Howard. Desmond Howard to the 41 of New York for a first down. Now, I tell you what I saw there. He was ready to put the ball down and run with it, but he saw Desmond come up, and it's the last second. He hurt you. And it's 17 to play in the third. Third and 11. Off the hands of the intended receiver, Tim McGee. And that's quarters. They didn't put anything on the board. Well, it wasn't a quick hook, but it was a hook, Bob, and it came after three quarters. This is the 205th consecutive sellout in terms of tickets sold. Second down, 16. Rippin's first throw, if he can get it away, which he can. And they're going to play man-to-man -man against this guy. You can believe that because he's not as mobile, and he's not going to beat him with the run. I don't know what that was. I think it was a screen, and they played man-to-man -man on it. Therefore, you have no screen. They're playing like they're afraid to win. I, I, I really mean that. This guy, Johnny Johnson's got the first down. He has well over 100 yards for the day. Had a 23-point game against Nevada, Las Vegas. A half as many points per game as they did two seasons ago. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh! Reggie Brooks, uh oh, the corner, and hemmed in at about the 37-yard line. Third and eight. 8.33 to play in the game. 3-0 New York. Rippin. Stepping back up into the pocket. Zinging one over the middle. It's caught and then dropped. The ruling is incomplete. Ricky Sanders had it. A couple of Jets converged on him and the ball scored in three. Just beat the play clock and got it to Johnson. Across the 20-yard line. The Jets have had the ball more than twice as long as the Redskins have. Wasn't, uh, he thought maybe he had lost a little bit of the speed that he had come out of uh, Michigan with. Ricky Sanders makes the catch on the throw from Rippon. They needed nine, and that's just about what they got. And it is a first down. 4-19 to play in the game. 3-0 New York. Rippon complete to Sanders. Redskins might not have the ball again if they have to give it up here. A wobbly pass off Sanders' hands and incomplete. Now what do you do? They are virtually out of it in terms of the playoffs considering what remains on their schedule. Batted up in the air and that is it in terms of this possession. Just looking to run some time off of it. They hand it to Brad Baxter. first down which calls into question the Redskins taking the timeout when they did considering the fact that the Jets had gotten six yards on first down and you important thing not profit not the owner the game is the most important thing and it always has been and it always will be I'm not saying it didn't I said but with it there'll never be loyalty and there'll never be a dynasty either because the players will move around so much it'll be like baseball you will need a scorecard every week to figure out who has who there's one great team there. And I think if there's anybody close to it, it is the San Francisco 49ers right now. Johnny Johnson just trying to protect that ball with both arms wrapped around it. B. West, would you sit Montana for the rest of the year? I don't think I'd sit him for the rest of the year. I don't believe that. But I think I would certainly uh, work on certain aspects of my offense that didn't, didn't include high risk with him. I believe that. Any of you folks have ever seen... There's no overstating the great job done by Johnny Johnson. 32 carries for 155 yards. They decided to keep the ball on fourth down with 30 seconds to go, and he got on the first down, and the clock ran out after that final carry. And it runs contrary to what Boomer said yesterday in the meeting. We really thought, uh, after talking to him, that they were going to come out and throw the ball a lot more on first down. And I'm sure maybe the weather had something to do with it, because the, the wind is blowing. It's hard to tell how much it affects the ball down there. And the